Doc Talk is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals. Hey folks, welcome to Doc Talk. Today we're going to have a great show. We're traveling down to Great Bend, Kansas, where we're going to meet up with Dr. Nels Lindberg, and he's going to talk to us about some of the things we can be doing for our farm, our ranch, our family, our business for 2021, setting some goals. As dependable as the sunrise, in dairy parlors, open pastures, on ranches and feed yards across America, a place where reputation is more than a name, where the science of healthier animals is a way of life. It's the responsibility that drives who we are and what we do. Every decision, every day. It's your livelihood and our responsibility. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hey folks, welcome to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to travel down to Great Bend, Kansas, and when we get there, we're going to meet up with one of the best veterinarians I know, Dr. Nels Lindberg. Yes, hello, Dan. It's it's great to see you. Um, and it's even better to be on your show and I sure appreciate this opportunity to hopefully bring some valuable information to your audience, to your, to your listeners and uh, sure do appreciate it. Hey Dr. Nels, what are some of the things we should be doing to set goals? As you know and maybe some of your audience already knows, leadership is a, is a huge passion for me and uh, something that started 10 plus years ago in my quest to to get better and to help lead people in this practice and make people better at what they do every single day and uh, caused me to dive deep into some studies of leadership and how to get more out of people but at the end of the day it's really about first to be a great leader you've got to be better yourself um, You've got to know how to lead yourself appropriately and I needed a lot of work at that and along with those things as I studied it goals became you know a huge part of, of what I did and what I still do and uh, we use goals a lot so I'd like to talk about goals and you know it's there isn't a better time of year than to talk about goals um, very first part of the year I think everybody should be sitting down and thinking about things and and setting some goals and as a farmer or rancher or someone in a feed yard or any business or anybody personally i think one of our greatest opportunities is setting goals and if we don't do that we're probably not going to push ourselves as hard as we should if we don't focus on that we won't do what we should do or do as well as we should do or bring out the best version of ourselves. So we, we want to push our people to set goals. And so, so for us, where the rubber meets the road is in a practical sense, in our clinic today, we're, we're talking about reevaluating our goals from last year. We wrote those down on a blackboard for everyone to see. And we're now looking towards 2021 and, and setting goals. And so we ask them all to set multiple goals. We actually have a, a sheet that they fill out. It's a Zig Ziglar Wheel of Life goals. If, if you awesome audience members want to Google it, just Google it Zig Ziglar Wheel of Life goal sheet and you can pull that up and use it. And it's all different kinds of goals that we need to have across all aspects of our life. And so, and we do this as well. I'm doing this as well right now in feed yards that I visit with cowboy crews. 
and um, I sit down with them in a cowboy meeting every visit and we we do their goals and I ask them to have two to three personal goals and two to three professional ones professional ones we do go through and we everybody talks about their individual goals so we can hit them but you know I think in any operation this is one of our greatest opportunities that we we may not be doing today January 1 is a great opportunity to sit everybody down and have a conversation on goals maybe you print off some of those Zig Ziglar Wheel of Life sheets or make it your own goal sheet up for everybody to fill out and ask them to do that I, I spent Sunday uh, doing that for a family and their their entire farming operation that they they like for everybody to fill out and and it's both employees and their spouses so yeah to wrap this segment up Dan uh, it's one of our greatest opportunities and uh, I think we need to take the opportunity to, to seize on that and achieve some goals so probably a good time to segue into our next section hey thanks Dr. Nels as you look and as you reflect think about you have to set goals we have to write them down, we have to reevaluate, we have individual goals, we have team goals, farm goals, family goals. All of these things are going to relate as we start to look forward and write these down for a successful 2021. We'll be right back after these messages. Hey folks, Dr. Dan here. Welcome to Cattle First, as sponsored by Beringer Engelheim Vet Medica. And the term today, biosecurity. Biosecurity is security. It's like having a bouncer that keeps pathogens out and keeps um, disease out of your herd. One of the best tools you can use for biosecurity is a proper vaccination program and work with your veterinarian on that. The second one is introduction of new animals. And when we bring new animals on the farm, making sure that if there's a disease that, that is important that we test for, that we have that done prior to bringing them on the premise, and if, it, if they haven't been, then we have a place to quarantine them until we can get the diagnostics back, I think is, is vitally important. Uh, talking to your neighbors as cattle lean across the fence and, and, and communicate with each other, making sure that you have a community-wide biosecurity plan and vaccination plan, vitally important. Keep the disease out, be the bouncer. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here. We're in Great Bend, Kansas, where Dr. Nels Lindbergh is talking about goals. Hey, Dr. Nels, when we set up goals, what are some of the things that you think about and that you recommend to someone who's just setting out on their first embarkment of setting goals for their business, their family, or individuals? Well, Dan, that's a great question. Um, what are goals? How do we do them? What do they consist of? And so, taking it to a step further, as, as you walk your operation, you walk your family members through this, you walk your veterinary clinic, your ranch, your feed yard, as you sit down with your people, um, I think we need to clearly define what are goals. And goals are are very simple they're very specific they're measurable they have a time limit they must be yours as an individual and they must be written down so those are the five key components to you know what are goals and i want to focus just a minute on they must be yours so as a guy that's led a farm or a rancher that's led a rancher or the key figure of the family, oftentimes we want to take that time to control the situation as we're so good at doing. And we want to make our goals for them their goals. And that's not the time for us to do that. So as we sit down with our people, we want them to generate their own goals. We want them to have them in their mind, to think about them. We can maybe guide the conversation with, you know, what are some things you think that you need to get better at? What are some things that you're not doing so well today that you want to be better at? And we want to stimulate their brain to think about what are we doing good right now? What do we need to do better at? And, and those ones that they need to get better at, those are things we can write down. 
So it's a good way to stimulate that conversation, Dan, is, um, again, ask them what they're good at and then ask them what do they think they need to work on. And then from there, they can start writing some things down, specific things, measurable things, theirs, with a time frame on them. And if they do those things, they're going to be more apt to achieve them. And if they're your goals, they're going to be less apt to achieve them. And, and the other aspect of this that's very important is if we don't do this, we don't apply focus to these things, um, we probably won't achieve them. But if we give some focus to some goal setting and writing them down and revisiting them um, monthly, minimum quarterly, um, we won't achieve them. So we have to apply some focus. You know, anything we focus on, we typically can do better at or can achieve. Those are the things that, that I think we need to focus on. What is a goal? It's specific. It's measurable. It has a time limit. They're theirs, their own, and they're written down. Great information, Dr. Nels. Those goals, folks, they've got to be specific. They've got to be your own individual goals. They got to be time bound, written down, and much, much more. Some great information and great knowledge from Dr. Nels. And you think about this. You have individual goals, we have team goals. We may have family goals, but everybody's input is important when you're developing something that is truly a team. Listening, incorporating, and, and sharing a vision. That's what makes it powerful. Thanks, Dr. Nels. We'll be right back after these messages. When you're in the cattle business, no matter how much it's a business, it still starts with cattle. It's this basic notion that sits at the core of how we approach things at Beringer Engelheim. We understand when you put the cattle first, it just naturally leads to doing the right things. If you want to do well in this business, you start by doing right. Take care of the cattle, and they'll take care of you. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. As we start to have that little bit of a road trip down into the south and the west to Great Bend, Kansas, we meet up with Dr. Nels Lindbergh, who really does a great job out in the country. If you're looking for a speaker, you're looking for someone to come in and help you with your business, your family, your, your operation, your team, uh, drnels.com is just an unbelievable source of information and, and he's a great mentor to all of us. So, Dr. Nels, how do you set goals? What are some of the things or processes that you go through when developing your own individual, team, farm, business goals? Yes, Dan. Uh... The, the, the next step in the process is how do we do them? And I kind of got into that in that last segment. Um, but I, I want to touch real quickly on something, three words that I always think about with goals in the new year. And so uh, when there's the new year, we have New Year's resolutions, right? We have New Year's resolutions that we come up with and we want to do them starting January 1. And... And that's a great thing, um, but I want you to think a little deeper on it. I want, I want you guys as individuals, as listeners, I want you to think about it in these three ways. Is one is assess, two is reflect, and three is resolve, which is resolutions. And so as we think about these goals, how do we do them? I want you to sit down New Year's, New Year's Day. You know, for our family, we sit down as a family with our two kids and my wife and and we assess and we reflect and we resolve around the kitchen table and then all four of us write our own individual goals and then we as a family write goals you know we have a full sheet of family goals for the year but in order to get to those goals of the specific measurable written down theirs is we need to take some time and assess we need to assess our previous year how did we do did we do good in this did we do bad in this what you know what did we do and we need to reflect on how we did and, and why we performed in the manner that we 
perform. So it's assessment and assessing ourselves and our own performance, our family's performance, our operations performance, reflecting on why we performed as we did perform, and then we move into the resolve phase or the resolutions phase. And we do that, you know, at the end of the year, the very beginning of the year, and that's how we arrive at some of those goals. Now, the other very important aspect of goals and how we do them is, is placing focus not just on New Year's Day or the very end of the year when we do them, but we have to resolve, we have to revisit them frequently. And I think that's a common mistake is we, we make our resolutions, we make our goals, and then we fail to revisit them. And, and that really needs to be monthly for certain, you know, and for our family, like I said, we each have our own goal sheet. We've actually got a board and a hallway that where they all hang and we, we try to look at them monthly. Now I'll be the first to admit as perfect as that sounds, we don't always get them revisited monthly, but after we assess, reflect and resolve, we want to revisit those written down goals at least monthly. So whether you're doing that for yourself personally or for your team you're leading or for your ranch goals or for your feed yard goals or for maybe it's for your family or operation uh, we've got to revisit them monthly and again it's 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 just our greatest opportunity I, I, I would guess there's not many operations that, that sit down and do that together as a family or, or as a team and so I think we need to do that. I'm going to challenge you guys as listeners, whether it's a husband and wife, maybe you're single, maybe you're a one-man farming show, maybe you're a 10, 20-man farming show, or a, a three-man ranching operation, or one-man ranching operation, whatever it is, we need to sit down together, and we need to perform these functions, assessing, reflecting, resolving, and then writing those down and, and executing those goals and revisiting them monthly at least. Thanks again, Dr. Nels. And folks, you know, as you sit there and you reflect on this, as you assess, reflect, resolve, where are we? Uh, Why did we get here? And, and what are we going to do next? Those are kind of charting that mission, writing it down, forming your own map for your own operation. Great show. Thanks, Dr. Nels. We're going to take a break and we come back. A wrap up with Dr. Nels Lindbergh in Great Bend, Kansas. The state of Iowa and Iowa State University are proud to host the 2021 Beef Improvement Federation Annual Research Symposium and Convention. The convention will be located in downtown Des Moines with easy access to the airport, hotels, and local restaurants. Iowa State University is just north with its research and teaching farms. Join us in Iowa and experience how Iowa provides the beef industry with innovation to application. ValleyVet.com is your one-stop shop for your every animal need. From prescription meds, vaccines, equipment, and more for the ranch to the show ring, shop ValleyVet.com for fast shipping and great prices. Valley Vet Supply. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council. Improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson and here with our new format, I think you're going to like it because we're going to get out to the vet clinics, we're going to get out in the field and you're going to get to see a lot more. We're not just going to uh, do the typical podcast. We're going to, we're going to travel and we're going to go see some country and see some cattle and, and different animals and different veterinarians. So I hope you enjoy it. But Dr. Nels, one of the questions I have for you is, you know, how hard is it to set goals and stick to them? Yes, yes, Dan, goals are can be a challenging thing. They can be difficult for all of us to take the time to do because we're so busy. It can be challenging for us to achieve. Um, but everybody, I think, watching is a worker. We're, we're just all workers. And if we're in the ag space, we're all definitely workers. And, you know, we all have visions of where we're trying to go. And at the end of the day, that's what goals are about. They're trying to set forth a path for where we're trying to get to and 
you know, vision that goes to work is goals. And we need to always have them in focus because if we don't have them in focus, we probably won't achieve them. And, you know, we need to set some big, hairy, audacious goals, some BHAGs. Um, if we don't set big, hairy, audacious goals, we may not achieve big, hairy, audacious things. And we, we may just settle for mediocrity. And so why do we do these? It's, it's so that we can move our operation forward for progress. And, and this year's a prime example. COVID it just creates havoc, creates change. And, you know, we've got to pivot. We have to, you know, if this part of the operation isn't as uh, financially successful uh, than we'd like it to be, we need to think about some goals and where we, what other direction do we want to head? What direction, you know, do we want to pivot? And, and if you're a family farm or a ranch or, uh, you know, a vet clinic or a feed yard, you know, if you've got a team of people around you, another reason why we do these things is, is the entire family, the entire team needs to know what our goals are. They need to know the leader's goals, the leader's visions, the individual goals, the individual visions, um, to be a team, to be a team. We have to have shared goals, shared vision, uh, without shared goals, shared vision, there is no team, you know, there is no prosperity and people begin to perish or operations begin to perish. They be, they begin to decay. And so why do we do this? We're, we're trying to make sure we're sustainable for the next generation. There's great people in the ag space and farming families and operations. And we as leaders, it's our, opportunity and it's something we need to do for the sustainability of the operation now for if you're an individual it's it's something for you to also do to just get better and i think we need to take that opportunity whether it's financial goals spiritual goals family goals operational goals social or friendship goals that zig ziglar wheel of life that you can google up and, and look at it has those spokes of the wheel in all areas of our lives so we can have that round tire versus not achieving one area of our life goals and creating a flat tire. So it's it's just very important that we do this so we can be sustainable and go forward. And lastly, I guess the, the final thought that climbs into my head is, you know, goals aren't about what we're going to do to get there necessarily. Sometimes it's about what, what are we going to give up to get there? What are we going to give up to go up? If I want to lose weight, I can't eat ice cream every other night like I do. I've got to give up my ice cream. If, if I want to succeed in this area, there's likely something I may need to give up in this area. And so I, I challenge you, Dan, and I challenge our audience. So we set our goals. What are we going to give up to go up? Dr. Nels, great information. Uh, absolutely, um, some of the things that I struggle with, whether it's setting things for our individuals, setting goals for a family or, or for our business or for our university, and I think sometimes we tend to forget to write them down. And I think some of the things that you reiterate is that as we think about goals, you can't write goals for someone else. They have to be something that, that I believe in, something that I want to accomplish. And that doesn't have to all be professional goals. We have individual personal goals, spiritual goals, uh, professional goals, all of these different things that you can write down and you can set going forward. I think some of the other things I picked up with is that when we have team goals and you're gonna start to think about this as the boss or the owner or the operator, Obviously, you're going to set some vision and, and some preference as you move forward, but as you want to have buy-in, as you want to have a shared vision, as Dr. Nell said, you need to have uh, everybody have an opportunity to bring information to the table so you can sit down, assimilate, and then start to assess, reflect, and resolve. Where are we? How do we get here? And, and where are we going to go tomorrow? All of these different things, you've got to write them down. They've got to be time bound, specific, individual. Uh, and I think that, that, and they have to be written down. And I think at the end of the day, one of the things is, is that you have to understand that you have to reevaluate and reassess where you're at 
on a periodic chart, just like you would at a map. Where are we? How far have we come to getting to our destination, which is the goal line? I think that when you think about Dr. Nels and he talks about you have to give up to go up, we can't just keep loading the wagon. Sometimes we have to take a few things off uh, if we want to be able to free ourselves and to be able to move up and, and attain the success that we want. This is our new format. Thanks for watching Doc Talk. We have some new goals and some new specific timelines for 2021, but the number one thing we want to do is we want to serve the farmers, the ranchers, and the veterinarians out there. Remember, always work with your local veterinarian, and if you want to know more about what we do here at Doc Talk, you can find us on the web at www.doctalktv.com. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson here in Ames, Iowa, and I'll see you down the road. Doc Talk is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals.